What is happening? What is happening? Oh, this again? Huh. Alright. <laughs> All right. Huh. Twin projects. Crowd. The ore mined from the site is to be used to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, they checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Which, on Ember Twin, there's something to uncover. Alright, well, I guess there's the Lunar Runes to look at. And I fired my launcher, ended up in Dark Bramble. Okay. I think there's more... I think there's more to uncover here on Timber Hearth. Potentially. Isn't that? Yeah, that's that's okay. That's that's where I got into those runes. Huh. Okay. Oh shoot. All right. Let's let's go to the lunar. Oh, that's the wrong way. Oopsies. I'm sure there's plenty to look at here on the Battle Rock. Let's start with this. Huh. 
Ah. Eskers, signal scope log. Day 48, still not picking up Rebex Bandro from Brittle Hollow. Pretty sure they're fine. But I'll feel better once I can hear their music. Day 51, listen to Chirp play for a while today. Unrelated, someone should tell Porphy and Gossen their flirting is not subtle from an aerial perspective. Day 55, Bandro music coming in loud and clear today. Sounds like Rebex doing okay. That oaf, I was worried. Day 63, today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know, it was probably nothing. Day 70, no, it's back again today too. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76, okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Feldspar's harmonica. But Feldspar disappeared in space ages ago. It can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope is broken? Better talk to Nice. All right. Identified signal nearby. Esker. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. Don't the other travelers come by? Lunar Outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated and needed more frequent repairs. Nowadays, it's mostly used to keep a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but Gabbro is Gabbro, and you know how Rebek feels about unnecessary spaceflight. Don't go. I mean, uh... Anything else you wanted to ask? Is that you whistling? Probably. Uh, actually, definitely. The other travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a signal scope, you know. Best spot for that is the North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked red on your minimap, but the Adel Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. Can't miss it. Uh, Lunar Outpost. Apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone about anymore. When we first started our wilds, traveled, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our spacefaring technology has improved loads since then, but the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot. Like, more than they do now. Using the outpost cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village, and also the number of fires. Nowadays though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from Timber Hearth, and keeping an eye on things. Well, seems lonely up here. Little, I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfells and Gossen, mostly, and they radio up to chat now and then. And when ground control forgets up, I'm up here, I usually do. I launch my little scout at the village. You forget about you? I don't blame them. For one, I don't check in on, uh, as often as the other travelers, since I'm always in one place. And it's not so bad up here, really. At least it's peaceful and quiet. You don't always get that in our solar system. Let alone in our village. Alright. Oh, ship log is updated. Thanks to uh... 
Right. gonna fall into orbit or just completely miss? How the heck does it miss? Yep. Definitely not gonna. Wait a second. How did I get it to? Oh, hey, at least I landed on the planet. Er Never mind. Drat. Crepes. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, hey. Look at that, it's our flag. Hooray. this. Church research notes, property of church. This is an old crater. Neat thing here is that the composition of the samples I took from the impact site matches the composition of the ice on the outskirts of Dark Bramble. I'd posit that the Adderlock, Adderlock was hit with a piece of the planet that used to be where Dark Bramble now lies. To follow up on, maybe there are more fragments of the old planet, Dark Bramble, destroyed on other astral bodies in the solar system. To follow up on. Gosh, I'm a little confused about which direction is. Okay. Well, time to get started on this, huh? Coleus, I was upstairs testing the eye signal locator, and it can hear and follow the signals from the sun, Giant's Deep, and Brittle Hollow. 
Coleus. However, something strange is happening when I ask the eye signal locator to follow the eye's signal. The device's indicator rotates wildly and never points to just one direction. Felix, I see. I most likely calibrated the locator incorrectly. Privet, my apprentice, and I will make adjustments and try again. From Felix, an update. Disappointingly, everything is correctly calibrated after all. From Cassava, who is... No, not... Who's Cassava? Don't know. Name sounds familiar, though. It saddens me to posit this, my friends, but I believe we need to build a more sophisticated device if we want to find the exact location of the Eye of the Universe. From Thatch, then we will build it. Don't lose hope, Cassava. Our search for the Eye is what brought our clan to this place. We won't give up so easily. From Thatch, this is a curious result. It's possible the Eye has stopped calling out to its signal. This is not... Hmm. A scroll. Here we go. So where should this new more sophisticated... Where should this new more sophisticated locator be built? It may need to be larger than this eye signal locator is. And that's from Thatch. Coleus, Anona, and those of us originally stranded here on the Ember Twin built a quantum moon locator there. But the heat of the sun made its construction challenging. Wouldn't recommend it building on that planet. From Plume, the southern glacier on Brittle Hollow has ample available space. I could construct a new building to house this proposed locator. From Felix, yes, let's build there. I imagine our young friend Kanoi would enjoy that immensely. He's always had a great interest in the eye, especially for a child born so long after the crash. From Plume, I will begin construction on Brittle Hollow's South Pole immediately then. Alright. Oh, good. Okay, wow. Wow. I've seen this rune in other travelers' pictures, but seeing it for myself, it's really old, isn't it? But wow, this is the coolest day of my life. Okay, um, time for some official notes. So this comes. So this is some kind of now, no my locator. It can point out the different planets, which is incredibly cool, by the way. But from what little I can understand of the writing here. I think it was built to try to find something specific. I'm not sure. I also was able to translate something about the South Pole of Brittle Hollow, so I'll fly there to see if I can learn more. Yep, just gonna get back in the old ship and take off. Totally safe. Mostly safe. No stars above. Okay. So, what is happening? So, what was the point of this? Alright. So, we already did here. Constantly points at. What is that? Hmm. Constantly points out what you tell it to point at. 
So what is this? Oh, this is the thing that they're trying to search for, but it just... Would randomly keep spinning, huh? So, can I look at my... no. I have to go to my ship to look at ship's log. Okay. We can do that. I left it on the other pole. Okay, whatever. Oh. Yeah, whatever, I should be fine for a minute. No, wait. Whatever. Do this for a second and, uh... out. Asker's camp. High signal locator. Yep. Okay. Nomi device created to pinpoint the sources of distant signals. They're disappointed by their failure to detect a signal of the eye of the universe. Rebeck headed to Brittle Hollow to investigate something the Naomi were doing at the South Pole. Rebeck. On Brittle Hollow. Brittle Hollow's South Pole. Alright. Somewhere in the Dark Bramble. Oscar's camp. Going to crop trees at the camp. Doing okay. <laughs> They've probably been on the moon, on the moon for too long. Oscar keeps tabs on the travelers there. Oh, okay, interesting. So I might find something that leads me to Oscar's camp. Weird. Okay, so wait, does green mean that I have more or less... Wait, no. What does green mean? What does green mean? And what does orange mean? Hmm. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's go to this. What is this? Giant steep?
except we'll have to... Hold on. Wait. Did something just crash into the sun? Was it that comet? Did that just crash into the sun? I think it did. I think the comet just crashed into the sun. So now... Right? I can't tell what's happening. Alright. Excellent. So, yeah, the comet eventually crashes into the sun. And then the sun supernovas. And so i guessing my goal is to find this eye of the universe before that happens. That's probably what we gotta do. Oof, whoops. 